What's new in IT? Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with IT Career Questions and today we are doing something a little bit different where we are talking to you guys about what is new in the IT world that you should be paying attention to if you're looking to get a career. To start this off, a big question. How many jobs are out there? What jobs are out there? Well, if you go to indeed.com, you can just type in information technology. You can get more in depth and type in like help desk or network engineer, network admin, the list goes on. But if you search on Indeed for information technology, there are over 330,000 job postings for full-time positions in IT. So that kind of gives you an idea of how many jobs are actually out there and now it's up to you to actually fill one of those jobs. If you are in New York, for instance, there are over 11,000 job postings for information technology positions. In Chicago, where I'm at, there are over 7,000 full-time job postings on Indeed for different technology careers. So again, that gives you kind of this idea of the capacity of the job market and you need to get out there and get one of those jobs. The other thing that I wanna talk about that's kind of new and important in IT right now is the hack that just happened with T-Mobile. And they said that, you know, no sensitive financial information was stolen, but they did get your, you know, your name, your, your number, your account number, your address, and a lot of bad things can be done with that alone. I did a live stream with my partner manager, Brandon, on Saturday, and we talked a lot about the T-Mobile hack what happened and the impl implications and the implications that can happen from this hack. So check out that live stream. I'll put a link in the description. But what's important about this is the fact that there were actually more vulnerabilities found uh, from AT&T and Sprint, I believe it was, and they were actually able to kind of, you know, nip those in the bud, if you will. So they won't or should not become a problem. But why is this important to you? It's important to you because this is security. And security is one of the most growing fields right now in IT. The more that you hear about different companies being hacked, the more security jobs will be needed. You know, people are going to see kind of this as a big danger, as a big concern. And a lot of companies will start putting more money into their security. So if you're in that security sector, you're looking to get into that sector, you probably made a good choice by going that way. And to end this video off with what I think is probably the most exciting news that I've heard in a long time in regards to the IT career field is the fact that there are very large businesses that are no longer requiring you to have a degree. Yeah. That's right, and Google is one of those companies. I'm gonna do another video where I go and talk about this a little bit more, but this is huge news. And this is absolutely kind of mind blowing to me because these are some of the largest companies in the world that see such a need for people that they say, well, we don't, we don't need a degree anymore. We, we, we need these people who are interested in this, who want to do this, who want to learn more. So having a certification is really going to be a very beneficial factor in you getting one of these types of jobs or having an extensive background that can kind of back up what experience you do have. So as one of the largest companies in the entire world, not requiring you to have a degree to work there, I think more businesses are actually going to start going that route as well and kind of drop some of their prerequisites like a degree. I would stay tuned and really pay attention to that. If you're somebody who is new to IT and you're looking to get into the field and maybe you are specifically looking at Google, but you don't have a degree or you can't take that degree path, but you know, you have the knowledge, you have the skills or certifications, reaching that Google employment status might be a little bit closer than you think. So this was kind of a trial run uh, to see how I can really do kind of a quick video to talk about some of the new things um, that are happening in the IT world that would relate directly to you, my viewer, my audience, 
and you know how that just affects you, what you can do about it, what you're gonna learn about it. And I strongly encourage you guys to kind of go and look into this stuff a little bit more if it makes sense to you. If you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments below. So please take the time and leave a comment. Let me know about more things that you'd like to see as far as a, you know, this week in IT careers. You know, is there something really specific that you're looking for there? You know, let me know in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you guys. That's all I got for today's video. So stay tuned where we will do this again next week and talk about the current events then. So thanks for watching. As always, take it easy.